We're here with Francesco Bombasse, Senior Technical Program Manager with Google. Uh, Francesco, you're part of Google's cloud services team. Uh, what kind of clients do you work for and, and what are some of the perceptions they have as they start to look at using uh, technology and machine learning? Yeah, so primarily we work with, uh, in the professional services organization with large customers, mostly enterprise, uh, but also in some cases uh, smaller companies that have uh, um, maybe ideas on how to innovate their business and they want to hear from uh, Google in terms of technology, particularly with machine learning and artificial intelligence at this time. And uh, what are some of the key considerations they have when they are thinking about adopting AI and machine learning technology? Yeah, I guess uh, there are typically two, two things. One is um, uh, right now, and definitely Google is partially responsible for this, there's a lot of hype around machine learning and artificial intelligence. So I guess the first thing is always qualifying the problem if it's really a problem that can be solved in that way. And the second typical obstacle is having uh, enough data because machine learning depends on having enough data. And sometimes we have to help uh, you know, finding out if that's the case and if, it, if it's, that's the case also preparing that data and making sure it's usable. Okay, so you've touched on data. What are some of the other key challenges someone might face, a, a company might face when adopting these technologies and how do you help overcome them? Yeah, so uh, in general there is, a, uh, there is a skill problem. Of course, uh, these type of technologies are quite new and there's not a lot of uh, skill on the market right now. Yes. Uh, and there is a technology problem. Uh, the tools that you use are quite unique, sometimes esoteric. So you need sometimes uh, a lot of help in doing that. And our platform actually helps a lot because uh, it takes a lot of that complexity away. So you just uh, start a subscription and you have already a lot of those tools available to you and you don't have to maintain that because we do. Okay, so once a customer has decided to onboard these systems, uh, how, how do you use Google help, help train them and bring them into the process and make them, is it self-managing or is it an ongoing consultative basis? Actually, it's, uh, both things are possible. There are customers that just uh, want to start from, uh, on their own. Of course, they can come to our professional services, my team, to, uh, to get help and get guidance. Uh, and in some cases, uh, um, we also have you know, external partners that are specialized in particular industries or verticals that also help. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.